Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 10 of my Shang Ching campaign here in Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. This is the big episode 10, this is where I know people like to check in. And uh, so we got to get some stuff done here. We have got to... Um... Oh shoot, wait a minute, stop this guy. Yeah, we have got to try to make our way south uh, so we could defeat these guys, uh, the... Uh... The Zhangji click sooner rather than later. We're just sort of um, rotating, attacking this one isolated division who's holding on for a surprisingly. Sorry, I thought I heard something. A surprisingly long time. Uh, we can get some bonuses for close air bombers. It might be good. Yeah. We need to catch up because uh, we are. Yeah, we're a bit behind on the research of those. Mm. Friendly air superiority, large river crossing divisions are in position, etc. <sighs> uh, part of me is a little bit tempted to just go on an offensive. Oi! Red bubbles, don't like that. See, this, the, the issue is this guy is out of position. Um, we just attack here. There we go, green bubble. So I like to see. Yeah, keep keep this guy pinned down. Goodness gracious, how is this guy hanging on? It's really getting on my nerves. See, they kind of are all running out of supply out here, but so am I, actually. Oh, you know what the issue is? There is no connection here uh, in the rail network, so let's, uh... Let's see here. I'm trying to... There we go do that okay there now this is at the top of the queue so just just to just to connect this hub here uh, that should hopefully help quite a bit we've only got so much time left okay good we got to push back here hold on keep that there this is gonna make our front quarter oh Germany East Africa just went <laughs> that's a uh, yeah, Japan is kicking a lot of ass. Uh, gonna be a problem. I think I want Germany to win now. Um, difficult as that may be. So let's stop trading with uh, the commune if I am. Okay, I'm not. I need more aluminum. I think what we need, uh, what would be best for me right now, is uh, if, if uh, the American Union state ends up joining up with Germany, which they probably will. I think that's their only option. No, that's not true because I think I, I think I once aided the Entente once as um, as the American Union state. Manifest Destiny. Uh, so hold on. What, what's their current party? Authoritarian Democrats. Yeah. Um, they could enter the fray, so they could join the Reichspark or the Entente. Yeah, I think. Uh, Yeah, we, we want them to join up with Germany, I think. Because uh, Germany needs to preferably make a comeback out here in the east. But I think what's going to happen now that Germany East Asia has, has collapsed is uh, they're going to make a separate piece, which is really going to suck. Um, so I need something to deal with Japan. We're just not in a good position, plain and simple. Simple as, how is this, oh god, this freaking division, go away. We're about to get pushed back here, fuck. They're going on the offense against me, bastards. Uh, the Feng Tian don't have anybody on my front line here, strange. Or are they going to maybe go after Mongolia first or something? I think I've heard of them doing that.
<clears throat> okay, but at least here we now have uh, this front line uh, basically covered, except for this one tile here. So we're in a little bit of a better position. Hmm. There goes Sacramento. Okay, that's that. And yeah, Mexico has been made a puppet. Wait, giving manpower for garrisons. Yeah, occupied puppet under Juan Andrew Almanza. You know what? Let's do an offensive on the whole front line just to see how far we could get here. Because they, they, they got to be running low on... Uh, equipment, you know, guns and stuff. So let's just push wherever we can. Oh, cool. I can select a preferred tactic now. That's cool. Uh, extra 50% chance for generals. Hmm. I'm probably going to end up being on the defensive mostly later. Elastic defense could be good. Uh, overwhelming fire. Counters bonsai charge. They'll probably use that a lot, huh? The Japanese. Hmm. Tactic movement, blitz. Has trait panzer leader. Wait, offensive tactic. Elastic defense. Elastic defense might be good. Counters blitz and masterful blitz. Mmm. I think we'll do elastic. The choice is permanent. Oh shoot! You know we'll check. We'll we'll do that later. I need to research into that more. I'm sure there's like a meta to it these days. Yeah, I think we're gonna be able to get down here into the island, uh, pretty pretty easily. Kaiser Wilhelm dies. That's a little early. What, wait, or no, it's not. I keep thinking he dies in 43. I'm not sure why. But, uh, number three now. Yeah, we're, we're starting to spike our own casualties now. The ratio is going away. The We're doing like 11 to 1, 10 to 1 before. Uh, that's disappearing. I think we might stop going on the offensive here in a moment. Then again, we've taken uh, Shantuo. Their only supply hub now is the capital of Guangzhou. Yeah, let's just go. We've got like two weeks until uh, we got to be at war with uh, Yunnan. Further along we can get, the better. And I won't even mind if they uh, if they end up uh, freaking pushing us back a little bit. That'll only spread them out. That might be a good thing. Get them out of their mountains a little bit. All right. Looks like our own supply issues are starting to go away. Well, we make those uh, railways. Scandinavian Defensive Union got formed. Is everybody in Scandinavia in that? Yeah, wow. Okay. So they're, they're sitting this one out, basically. Ten days to go before the Yunnan War must start. Okay, the... Not really getting anywhere here in the south. We might, we might get holding here. Seven more days. I don't have every tile covered. There's nobody here. Oh no, this guy's coming here. Okay. So we're going to have about one tile in every spot. We're going to get pushed back if they're smart. Uh, what's the template of these ones again? I think we're going to switch them all over. 
Say goodbye to all the support equipment. <laughs> How's it looking? Yeah, we're starting to get closer to about three to one. Do I have another 50 fighters? Close, not quite. Okay, yeah, we're just, you see, okay, let's take a deep breath. That was good. Offensive. Uh, we're right outside their capital. How far are they? They're 73% of the way toward capitulation. Their capital's worth 10. There's not really any cities down here. Yeah, it's got to be Guangzhou or nothing. Simple as. Oh, shoot. Oh, I think I just missed my shot. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Exactly on the deadline. Yeah. To declare the war. Let us begin. Okay. And here they come. Uh, we're going to try to do a last stand. I'm not sure that's going to help. But hopefully they'll just kind of swing themselves out here in the early days. Doubt it. Whoa! Huey Long got imprisoned and in executed in the coup. News from Washington is that the newly victorious U.S. President Huey Long is dead. This appears to be a successful coup by his own members within the America First Party who have been galvanized even further against any socialist thought in recent months. Details of the coup itself are only sparsely reported, but a recording of Huey Long confessing to be a syndicalist on the eve of his execution has been widely circulated. I'm sure that's uh, completely legit. Uh, the interim government led by American Legion Commander William Pelly promised the uh, public it will end syndicalist incursion into American institutions. Martial law has been resumed over the nation, and we can assume the press coming out of America will be censored from now on. I highly doubt Pelly can fix America now. Wow. Commonwealth of America. I remember I remember when they did the the American Civil War rework. I was the only one on YouTube who wasn't a coward and actually played the uh, the the Commonwealth of America. Uh, that got pretty pretty wild. Uh, uh, Cuz as edgy as a lot of the community likes to think it was, that was seen as a bridge too far. Okay, yeah, we're probably going to lose this bulge and this bulge. Fall of Shanghai, what? It's been over 70 years since the Chinese Persia could stand on the Bund. Oh, it's the Feng Tian. They've been going after it. Will the chaos in China never end? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, that's going to make things a little bit more difficult for me. Uh, they just don't have factories. I simply do not have them. Okay, here's here's what I think we gotta do. We gotta make Jinling the highest priority. And then put this like right here. Yeah, so then as soon as that's done. There goes Shanghai. That was part of the war against the Reichspakt. Hmm. Okay, if you say so. Who say so? We say so. The three caballeros. Okay, we can get better fighters now. Um, let's not research this other stuff just yet. Another war propaganda offer. We don't need that. Oh, we can go to total mobilization now if I wanted. Uh, and I think we will. Like, if we could do it, why not? It's just going to hurt our recruitable population, but then we'll... I'm not spending political power on anything else, so we can... Uh, maybe after we protect the fighters, we're going to stop taking stuff here for a minute. Although we can get a couple of fighter bonuses. No, we'll never be able to have the planes we need to fight Japan, so we're, we're going to wait on that. Um... Check the industry way too ahead of time. 
try to get better rifles, and uh, we don't have all the support equipment we need, so we might as well make sure that what we do have is better. Hmm. Yeah, so we're, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna stop. To, that's it, Germany and Japan stopped fighting, so uh, I'm screwed. Oh, man, the greater Philippines made up of uh, Borneo... Do they get to core that or anything? What the heck? Uh, okay. Uh-oh, uh what's freezing up? What's freezing up? Uh, it's probably the peace deals. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there's Japan making its moves. Okay, that looks a little more reasonable. <laughs> Uh, that Japan is uh, gonna be outrageously strong now, though. Let's dismiss that national focus thing. Okay, so yeah, we are currently demobilizing. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is uh, move up up to limited conscription and then beyond uh, ASAP. Can we push here. Ooh, it's looking bad against Yunnan. Looking real bad. Yeah, that guy's gonna get pushed back. We knew that would happen. Uh, let's check the Yunnan thing. It's about equal casualties, which I don't like to see, although I could technically afford it. Take it over the river, this is gonna hurt. Oh, they're not taking this empty tile. Thank goodness they're being stupid. All right, new doctrine, new doctrine. Combat with weight. Because now we can finally, once and for all, finish the army reform. Hmm. Okay, nice cutoff here. get another little cutoff right uh, right here so they're, they're trying look at this uh, four divisions well they're not actually only one of them at a time is attacking there but they're trying to they're trying to push me away from the capital but it's not happening Feng Tian, oh wow, uh, so Feng Tian just got involved in this war, but you know what, this is a good thing, because here's what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, we should be getting offers for uh, non-aggression packs here in a minute, this is actually really good, they fucked up, well, I think we can just cancel it, the non-aggression pact, but, uh, yep, here we go, yes, yes, non-aggression with everybody, including with Feng Tian if we can. Yeah, with Vietnam, with everybody. We want it. We definitely want it. These motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I just realized if they push in far enough on us, they'll be taking Guanji land, even though they're not at war with Guanjing. It's just kind of an interesting thing. How's uh, how are those casualties looking? Still about 50-50. Not good. If Japan jumped in on that too. Oh, the Kingdom of Lan... Lanjing. But if Japan... Get, or, wait, are these Social Democrats? Where was it? What did I click? Oh, Siam. Yes, I am. Social Democratic. Even. National Populace. Social Conservatives. There's all kinds. Uh, in the co-prosperity sphere. Argentina is joining with the Germans. Don't care. Don't care about the Germans being strong anymore. Okay. Yeah, give me all of these non-aggression packs. Oh, Japan's going after uh, Baratia. What are the circumstances around that? I guess for Burma? 
That's interesting. Is that a new thing? I don't remember that being a thing. And yes, give me that Len Lease, everybody. Yeah, help out your buddy in China. I'm totally your friend. Oh boy, Yunnan is really pushing me hard. <laughs> Are you serious? Did we just get a building sabotaged on us? We've got resistance happening? Fuck off. Ugh. Yeah, more support equipment. Give me everything. I'll take anything you got. Oh yeah, there. Uh, Hunan is marching. They are coming for me. No doubt. Boy, what the fuck is this? Are, we ta are, are you telling me, are we taking these in the name of the Feng Tian government now? That's bullshit. Whatever. Oh, it looks like, uh, yeah, they're attacking out of uh, Zanjian. We desperately, desperately need to end this fight, though. Uh, so that I could brace the, the front line against Yunnan. Yeah, so I could cut this line in half, this front line in half, and you know, just do like a 50-50 with my two southern armies. Uh, we could do a new trait here. Um, improv or Gorilla would both be good for my guy here. Hmm. Haiti joined the Entente. Oh, are they capitulating? Nope. Yeah, we're, we need the capital. Uh, fucking hell. So how long are these non-aggression packs supposed to last again? They could just be cancelled any time, huh? Uh, what is this with production? Oh, the anti-air. Yeah, no, we, we, need to, we need to fill up on stuff we already have got and we're short on that's more important right now oh man Yunnan is freaking wrecking us the casualties seem to be about 50 50 yeah actually they're losing slightly more but we're def we're getting pushed back there's no doubt about it in Macau. There we go. Come on. See, the, the thing is, we're just kind of concentrating them in the city, though, which is going to make it a really tough nut to crack. Oh, man. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah, was, ah, they broke through. They broke through. Uh, I think we just lost a railroad. Yeah, we sure as shit did. Oh, man. All right, this is really stupid and ignorant. We're going to go on the offensive with our secondary army here. Oh, we can give this guy a new trait. We'll give him a uh, maybe ambusher. Yeah, ambusher is still better than the because we're gonna be on the defense against Japan later. Hell's bells! How many divisions? Did the twenty three twenty six divisions. Yeah, we, like all all of our gains from early in the war against the Click, we we're lo we've lost them. Remember, remember when they had lost like eleven thousand men and we had lost about four hundred and something. Those days are way in the past. Those are in the rear view mirror. I shouldn't have started the war against Yunnan so early. Fuck, I got greedy. I thought it would be easy. No, the Federals, the Federalists, they are they're tough. They don't go easy.
You see, and I'm, I'm just looking around trying to see if there's anywhere I could poke in, but there's simply not. Yeah, we've just concentrated them around their supply hub. Oh, fuck me. What is this? Can I send an attache? Interesting, I can send an attache to the Baratia commune if I really wanted. Alright, so that should stop the demobilizing, I think. Uh, once we hit midnight, if I'm doing my math right, could be wrong. Oh, no, no, it'll still be demobilizing because it's a still, we've come down from our higher peak. We lost Nanin, that's more supply we're losing. Fuck, 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 fuck. God, I'm so screwed. This situation in the south is horrid. I bet I'm even out of rifles by now. No, I'm not, but soon. I think we need to switch back to the, uh, to the, to the regular 18s that we had. Actually, they're smaller than 18s now. Yeah, only a combat with a 14. And now all of our infantry equipment has disappeared. But it doesn't look as bad. It's just going to take like 200 days to do that. And uh, yeah, I think rifles, uh, these are our sort of pseudo allies would be more willing to, uh, to give us than artillery. Okay, we got to redraw this front line because we're, we're going to lose all this shit. There we go, got some cutoffs in the west. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out. What are you doing? You're just standing around. Why, <laughs> why can't I move my own division? They've got org, whatever, no, maybe they don't, I don't, whatever. Just what the fuck ever. Oh, cool, we have another operative we could use. Yeah, let's get all this tank stuff that's not usable. There we go. And with extensive conscription, now the demobilization should stop. Yeah, now we're remobilizing. Excellent. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Yep, and we've uh, we have officially now lost more. Or wait, no. No, no, no. Yeah, we've uh, we've inflicted 175 casualties on the Guangxi. And they've inflicted 66 on us. Oh, so a lot of this math was actually from Yunnan. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought. All right. Nothing to do now, but just keep that pressure up. Hey, it's St. Crispin's Day. I think Yunnan might already starting to be overstretched. A little bit. We just got to stabilize that front line. You know, it's a good thing that there's coastline here, because now Japan will attack them, right? Hopefully they go to subjugate them before they subjugate me. Uh, but we need to use this the the time we'll have gained fighting Yunnan and keeping Japan and the rest on our side to just get an industry up. So we're actually not going to be in a rush to uh, to beat Yunnan when the t once we can fully concentrate on them. We need to spend the time getting a... Uh, getting industry together. Come on, I'd like to ep end the episode on this capitulation. It's outrageous how well these, these cutoff divisions are able to hold on. 
What the fuck is happening? Am I at war with Yunnan or not? Why am I not able to just walk over the river here? You guys are seeing this, right? Look, you see, it makes me specifically have to go through Wuzo. Oh, it's because I'm on Feng Tian land. So Feng Tian's not at war with Yunnan. That's why I can't do it. Like, they're the ones who are controlling the territory, technically. Oh, fuck that. Ugh. What a pain in the ass. Well, I guess that might be good. It's also shortening Yunnan's front line with me. All right, the the military factories in Jinling are starting to go online. Uh, okay. Wait, who who did they just go to war with? The Nepalese. There's so much land we're gonna have to cover. Okay, we got 21 divisions attacking Guangzhou from every direction. This should be over soon. One would think. Oh, what a mess. How you tore your dress, what a mess. India wants a non-aggression pact, sure. Oh, wow, yeah, I, the, the India joined the co-prosperity sphere. God damn, well, there's all the manpower in the world for Japan. Damn, this is a shit spot we're in. All right, I will give them the island. Uh, yeah, this is, that's me, that's me. I took the rest of this, though. So many dots along the coast for Japan to fuck me with. Okay. Let's, uh, you know what? We might need all hands on deck here. Uh, or maybe not. Let's see here. Kind of go to here with this front line. Uh, this one will cover most of this, though. So now we just need to hold in these areas. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the main thing is we've got to get industry up and running. The infantry equipment, that's going to be set in 149 days. It's not long at all. We've got some resistance to occupation that's going to be going on in these areas. That's okay. Uh, integrate the Shantuo concession. Yeah, I guess let's do that. That's furthest away from the front line. Uh, okay. Next time, we'll start stabilizing our front line against Yunnan and just try to hold them while we, uh, integrate and do other stuff. Uh, you know, get, get that support equipment up and running. We're going to have to hold on the Jap I'll hold off the Japanese and co-prosperity sphere on so many fronts. There's going to be this front here in Southeast Asia, here in South China. They've got Shanghai. There's, of course, the threat from the north. And there's the innumerable docks we're going to have to hold. It's going to be painful, but we'll see if we can do it. I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you next time. Bye.